Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate, as those may be meant for someone else. All right, we're going to look at what is Capricorn struggling with today. Page of Cups. What do you need to look at? Nine of Wands. Energies coming in. Queen of Swords. All right. Page of Cups. Clarification for Page of Cups. We have the Emperor, we have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Knight of Swords. I feel like there's somebody with a very strong personality that's come into your life and you're trying to decide, how do I handle this person? How do I deal with this person? <laughs> I feel like you kind of go back and forth. I feel like you kind of look at that person and you're... you're, you're um, I don't know what the right word is. Like you're impressed by that person, but also I feel like this person drives you crazy. I feel like this person, like one minute you're like, wow, that person's really cool. And then the next minute you're like, mm, I don't know. Or you're like, wow, I can think I can really be with this person. But then you're like, mm, I don't know. Then this person has, you know, these sides to it, to them. Cap, uh, devil card, Capricorn. So nine of wands. We have the devil card we have the page of swords and we have the page of wands we have the queen of swords we have the star we have the judgment and we have the six of swords I just feel like you're trying to decide is this person good or is this person bad is this someone that I want to have in my life or is this someone that I want to move on from <laughs> You know, sometimes we have those people that just kind of, they overwhelm us and we're like, well, how do I take you, right? How do I deal with you? How do I receive your energy? So what you may be struggling with, like I said before, is I feel like there's somebody that's very, they're very powerful. Now this could do something with work is that maybe you have a new boss, maybe you have a new manager, maybe there's you know, been some changes within the company and you're like, oh, how do I take this, right? I feel like there's someone that's very powerful that I feel you're impressed by, but yet you're confused, but then there's also those questions and that negativity. What you need to look at, I feel like it's hanging in there. Before you make a decision, right, on what it is that you want to do in this situation, because I feel like you're just not really sure how you feel. I feel like it's kind of taking a step back, figuring out how you really feel. Sometimes we'll just react too soon. I'll do the same thing. Sometimes I'll react to something. And I'm like, oh, if I had just waited a little bit longer and then I would have seen, you know, this more information has been presented to me and I, I would would have been able to see that, oh, I should have waited, right? And I re would have reacted to that differently. Um, I do feel that there is some toxicity. There's some negative energy around. I'm kind of feeling that it's your negative energy. It could have to do with this person and your feelings towards this person that you do have this. You're, you're kind of saying, is this person being too controlling or is this person not? So I feel like you have some doubts. You have some negative energy surrounding you, right? And I feel like that's what you need to figure out and you need to communicate it, that if you have concerns, you know, if this is a friend or a family member or a partnership or something like that, where you feel somebody is being too controlling, right? You feel somebody is... Someone that you feel comfortable enough to be able to talk to. I feel like you need to talk to somebody. But I also feel like it could be, like I said, before you make a final decision about what you want to do within this relationship towards this person or what you're feeling, I feel like it's learning more, figuring things out. Because this is what, this is the Queen of Swords is somebody who figures out solutions, right? She figures things out. She finds a solution. 
I feel like you don't know what to do with this situation. You don't know what to do with this person. You don't know what to do with your feelings, right? You're like, I don't know. I'm, I'm back and forth. One minute I'm Ten of Cups. Next minute I'm the Devil Energy, right? One minute I'm Knight of Swords. Next minute I'm Page of Swords. I'm Page of Wands. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Knight of Swords can be scattered energy. You're back and forth. You're confused. You're overwhelmed. I just feel like it's kind of figuring, t hang in there. Don't make a move until you think things through, right? Until you feel confident in your decision. I feel like before you move forward with this, I feel like because you have this scattered energy that it's best not to react. I feel like it's trying to figure that out first. This future energy is like hearing the message, right? And I feel like it's knowing your direction, your guidance. You have that guidance because we have the star, which is you know, that guidance, that direction on what you want to do. Here, you're not sure what to do. Here, I feel like you hear the message and you know, okay, this is what I want to do. This is how I want to move forward. Because here, you're like, I don't know how to move forward. Here, future energy is coming in. You're like, okay, now I know how to move forward. I'm so glad that I hung in there. I'm so glad I didn't make a move. I'm so glad that I processed my emotions and my feelings that I was having, right? That I figured out how I was feeling about something. That I processed those. I looked through those. I, I figured those out before I made a move. Because if you make a move before you're ready and then you want to change things, then you kind of have to fix things. If it turns out negative, you have to fix having made that choice too soon and you have to deal with the situation. So instead of piling those things up, that if you just hold back and wait. Sometimes... You know, I'm kind of the person, I'm kind of that type of person that I just like to get in there and do it and get it over with. But then sometimes that's too, you know, that happens too quickly. And it's like, oh, if I had just held back, that would have, I would have made my life a lot easier. So I feel like that's kind of one of those hold back, wait, hold back, wait, don't do anything yet. We have wisdom asking questions. Perfect. Because I feel like there are questions that you need to ask, not only yourself, but it could be communicating with this other person, right, or this situation. There's questions that you have to ask first before you can find your answer and decide where you want to go from here. And this could be a learning situation for you in patience, right? Having patience with a situation, having patience to not jump right in or not react immediately but to have that patience to figure things out first before you make a move because then it's a more it's a move that you you're more comfortable with sometimes that's the hardest thing is having patience right having patience before you make a move all right so we have soulmates this could be with a relationship right Maybe something's going on within the relationship and you feel like that partner is a little too controlling, but you're not really sure how to take it or how to deal with it. So it's figuring out your, maybe you're starting to build up negative feelings towards this person because you're like, wow, you're really controlling. Like you've changed. Maybe that person changed. People change within relationships, right? Things happen to them. They go through their own process and things change with people. And maybe you're, you're seeing things differently. Maybe something happened where there was a broken heart. You were let down by something. You're like, wow, you know, that really surprised me that you did that. Sometimes people do things and you're like, wow, why did you do that? I never think you would do that, right? So that's starting to build up your toxic energy here and your toxic feelings. And you're starting to question the relationship, right? You're like, well, I thought it was a 10 of cups, but maybe it's not. So I feel like before you react... A man holding a coin. I feel like that represents wisdom, right? Learning. Before you react, learning to sort through your feelings, figure out those questions that you want to ask and how you truly feel and what you want to do and then communicating and working things through and say, okay, this is what I want to do. This is how I want to feel. This is how I'm feeling and this is the route that I want to do. This is how I want to move on from that. Um, and whatever works best for you and making sure that you're voicing your opinion so that things don't build up even more, right? We all have those situations of that broken heart where we're surprised. And I feel like that's why you're scattered and you're confused about the situation. 
All right. Lots for you to think about. Lots for you to process. Don't make a move until you're sure about how you're feeling um, and what it is that you want to do. And you ask those questions so that you have as much information as possible to, to make the best choice and the best decision for you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.